Welcome to Frenzied Printing. My name is Becky. I'll be your host. Let's get into today's video. Okay, so last night it got a little cold in the house and we had a little bit of curling and this released from the bed. So I, I woke up and it was doing some of this. Um, and so I used the skip function to skip it and finish printing the other one, which I put some insurance on as well. Um, but I did take notice of what layer height it was on when I skipped. So now that I know that this roof stopped at layer 712, I can go back to my slicer and take off the bottom 712 layers and print the other piece of the roof and just glue it on. Is the color striping going to match? Probably not, but who cares? It's stripes. Stripes is stripes. Let's try it. Let's not throw this in the garbage and start all over again. That was a long time to print. Whenever I'm working on a very large print, even my little ones, I leave the slicer open and the project open. Sometimes I even leave it on the preview screen. Uh, you'll see down here at the bottom, I have a whole bunch of things that are printing right now and I just leave the slicer there until it's successfully printed as kind of a little bit of insurance. Plus it helps in a situation like this where either you have a layer shift or curling warping um, something unfortunate happened power outage something like that and maybe the bed went cold the plastic shrank and it came off the bed. Well some things you can just print the rest of the item and glue it together. Some things you can't, like if it's flexy or if it has um, really tiny little parts that may have fallen off or whatever. But for this being the roof of a birdhouse, I can absolutely cut this and print both pieces and then glue it together. So that's what I'm going to show you now um, in the preview screen. I can scroll this down until it gets to layer 712, which is where I stopped the print. And it looks like 111.56 millimeters is the height at layer 712. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna select that roof, and I'm gonna use this cut seam function. Uh, you can put it, type it in right here, 115.56. And then for the lower part that already printed, I don't need to keep it. So I'm going to uncheck the keep box and I'm going to perform the cut. Now I can add another build plate, move this over, slice it send it to the printer and glue my pieces together. Okay, I've paused the printers around me so that you can hear me a little bit better. And um, so this just finished printing on my Anycubic Cobra 3 Max. I got two new toys at the same time. The shop is full of boxes and packing material and garbage that needs to be taken care of. Um, so I'm dealing with that right now, but um, making never ends. So what I did is um, I just put a little thing on top of this ace cabinet because my production table is being taken up with two new babies. Um, I'm going to put some of this side grip weld on 16 on here, and then I'm going to put this on here. And I have a couple of very large clamps. I'm gonna clamp it down and make sure that it doesn't move. And then I'm gonna set it aside and just wait. All right, so there it is glued and clamped with two very large clamps. Um, if you don't have clamps this large, I don't know what you're waiting for because these things have saved my bacon. I cannot tell you how many times. Um, I'll put a link in the description for uh, a link to these clamps if, if anybody's interested in those. And Luna, the shop mascot, will watch over this and 
hopefully nothing will shift and nothing will get broken and everything will set perfectly right luna i'm leaving you in charge I'm leaving you you're the boss today you know you leave an axolotl in charge for one night and this is what happens uh-oh another good reason to leave your slicer open um this support just failed and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to hot glue it back onto the bed and uh, what i need for my slicer is i need to look at the sliced image and kind of calculate exactly where to put this back so i fixed the little crack that was on here with some of this weld on 16. Um, you can't even tell there was a crack so my favorite glue link in the description for this issue i go back into the slicer that i had left open if i hadn't left this open these supports could have been uh, moved so it was left open thankfully i can come in here and kind of measure where this support here uh, should be glued Hopefully this will work. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it does, which is great. So I measured down this way. It's about 40 millimeters. I measure this way. It's about 50. I'm going to just guesstimate. I can even slide this up to see what angle I should put this um, little tree part because it looks, it looks a bit like this right now. So... Just looking to see which direction I should point that. Looks like it should be pointed directly towards this little bundle of supports right here. 40 from the top, 50 from the side, a little insurance on the base. Et voila, totally worked. Love it when a plan comes together. All right, so here's the birdhouses. This one is the one we had to redo. You can see the seam right here. It's been glued though, and everything looks fabulous. We reprinted just this part and we glued it to the back part that didn't fail. So this is the one that didn't fail. And this is the one that did. So you can see just a little bit of, of glue and a line. But you ask, how did Yoda turn out? Well, that's a good question. Okay, let me just let me just grab it here. Here's my Yoda head. I haven't finished it yet. Um, maybe I'll finish it first and then post the video, but you guys got to see it from back here when it failed. Um, and it failed right at the base of the ear. Look, you can't even tell that I had a fail. I hot glued the support back down and I kept printing and it came out perfect. Luna the Shop Mascot says, if you're enjoying this content and you wanna see more, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.